In November of 2011, Chinbro's team in Mystic, Connecticut started Phase 2 of a three-phase project to rehabilitate the community's landmark movable bridge. Phase 1 had been completed in April with the successful repainting of the span. The major part of the work in Phase 2 would begin by supporting and lifting roughly 700 tons worth of concrete and steel associated with the bridge's balance truss and counterweights, all in an effort to realign the landmark. It all starts with the pier settlement that people think to have happened because of the hurricane in 1938. And because of that, the North Tower supporting the balance truss settled back and it threw the uh, bridge out of alignment. Over the years, the bearings wore in, so the bridge operated quite well despite the fact that it was out of alignment. But the bearings also wore out. So the state wanted to fix the alignment so when the new bearings were installed, they wouldn't be under the same kind of loading and, and being worn out prematurely. So what we have done as you can see behind me, we've got uh, steel cradles essentially uh, capturing each of the two counterweights and then out in front of the truss towers there's another set of steel there. So we basically picked up the truss at four points and then we had four locations where we could jack the truss north, south, east or west as well as vertically. With the help of Chinbro's design group, the team was able to get a head start on the supporting and jacking of the bridge. The original contract called for installing pile in order to support the counterweights. That plan caused some concern among local citizens who worried that the vibrations from the pile driving could undermine the aging foundations under the historic downtown area. The design group not only engineered the pile driving out of the plan with a scheme to provide shoring for the counterweights, they also created safe workspaces throughout the bridge for busy team members. Behind us there, what's going on, uh, they're up at what we call P7, which is the upper bearing of the, of the balance links. They're currently doing some heat straightening of, that, uh, of, of the plates around the bore that will accept the new bearing housing. Um, there's been some warping over time and we've been directed by the state to conduct that work. Once that's complete, uh, we'll have an in-place machining contractor come in and bore out all of the locations to accept the new bearing housing so they can be put in at the proper alignment. Also what you see behind me, you see a lot of access platforms installed and that's really one of the keys to this project. Uh, the ones that you can see out at P7 are basically hanging out in space. Our temporary design group with Tom Gilbert designed all of our access that's here that's supported off of the existing balance truss and bridge. Uh, then uh, Bob Courtney and Alan Fisher worked on the design for the shoring installation. And uh, it was really the key to this job because of the locations of everything, access was paramount to doing any of our work. And the access that's been designed and installed allows all of our team members to work up there without requiring to be tied off. Everything has got safety nets all up around it so they can carry tools and materials around without having to worry about dropping anything into the roadway or onto the, the sidewalks that we've been able to keep open through the winter months while we're doing our work here. Chinbro's concern for the architectural integrity of the downtown area is another example of how the company is working to be very sensitive to the needs of the community while forging ahead on the renovations. We try to work around them, work with them as much as possible. We were able to reduce the impact on the community by installing this shoring the way we did versus the pile supported operation. It eliminated the need to drive the pile which would have been done during the summer and fall months. Uh, instead, we were able to come in here and start working a month or so prior to the actual outage beginning in December with some of the pre-work and the installation there. And as soon as we got into the shutdown in December, we were able to begin erecting our shoring steel. And we actually had all of the shoring steel installed prior to Christmas. The Mystic team is happy to report that the bridge is now in alignment with work moving forward on the installation of new bearings and balance links. Also happening this year are several steel repairs underneath the existing span, all before the onset of the busy tourist season in Mystic. The Chinbro team members have also conducted some concrete repairs while looking ahead to the third and final phase of the project set to begin in the fall of 2012 with completion scheduled for April 2013. In the third and final phase, the uh, control house will be 
removed and reinstalled. All the new support steel underneath it will also be removed and reinstalled. Uh, the machinery pits and the operating machinery within them will be removed. The machinery pits get rehabbed, the new concrete floor goes in, there's several uh, steel repairs that happen with the machinery pits and then uh, once the new floors are placed the new machinery also goes in place and there's also uh, an extensive electrical and controls package as part of the control house installation as well as a new submarine cable that will go under the navigation channel. Things have gone very well so far. The jacking has been a challenge but we've been able to come up with it. It's a 90 year old bridge and it was very happy with where it was at so it took quite a bit of an effort to get it moved around to where it needed to be but it's been successful and we're all looking forward to getting the, the new bearings in place and hooked up and seeing this bridge open and close again come April 15th.